when we listen into the, the activity of brain cells in uh, rats, we're listening into brain cells in a particular area of the brain called the hippocampus. It's called the hippocampus. It's derived from the Greek for seahorse, and it's a little curved structure that's in the middle of the brain. And the important thing to know about the hippocampus is that if you didn't have a hippocampus, you wouldn't remember anything that's going on here today. And that is, this is the part of the brain that is absolutely central for memory, memory of events. And so understanding how memory is formed leads us to look at the activity of brain cells in the hippocampus. And uh, just this year, the Nobel Prize in physiology and medicine was given to the discovery of the phenomenon known as place cells. And that is individual cells in the hippocampus, not only do they respond to memories, but they respond based on where the animal is. There's some kind of connection between space and memory. It turns out rats have all the sleep stages that we as humans have. They have dream sleep, what we think of as dream sleep, REM sleep. They have non-REM sleep. And in all these stages, we see memory patterns being reactivated. In fact, not only do we see the memory patterns of the hippocampus reactivated, when we look in the parts of the brain that we associate with perception, hearing, seeing, those are active too, so that when the hippocampus is activating memory patterns of being in a particular location, the visual part of the brain is activating the images, and that is rats are seeing what they're remembering during dream sleep.